Singapore has made history by becoming the first country in the world to operate the F-35B Lightning II from land bases instead of aircraft carriers. This is a significant development, as even Taiwan is closely monitoring the situation, given the vulnerability of its airbases to Chinese missiles. In a recent announcement, Singapore confirmed its purchase of eight additional F-35B Lightning II fighter jets to supplement the four already under contract since 2019. As Eurasian Times has noted previously, the US-made F-35s are becoming increasingly common in China's vicinity, with Singapore now joining Japan and South Korea in operating these fighter jets. However, Singapore will be the only nation to operate the F-35B from land bases, giving it a distinct advantage in its unique operating environment and geography. This variant's short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL, capability offers Singapore significant benefits, given its terrain. The F-35B Lightning II is the Marine Corps version of the Joint Strike Fighter JSF, equipped with a vertical lift fan and pivoting engine nozzle that enables it to perform STOVL. As a result, this fighter can operate from austere bases and various air-capable ships. Despite having to make some sacrifices in terms of weapons payload and fuel volume to accommodate the lift fan, the F-35B's ability to operate independently of airbase infrastructure makes it ideal for countries like Singapore, whose airbases are potentially highly vulnerable to China's long-range fire capabilities. Singapore's Defense Minister, Dr. Ng Eng Hen, has praised the F-35's ability to operate from reinforced roadways and small concrete pads as an important feature for land-scarce Singapore. The country's limited land area of just 280 square miles makes the F-35B's capability to disperse significant. While Singapore has no major disputes with China, it is concerned about Beijing's increasing belligerence in the South China Sea. Military experts suggest that Singapore's procurement of the F-35B is partly, if not entirely, based on a potential Chinese threat. The US military, intelligence officials, and the Taiwanese government have warned about a potential conflict with China. There is a consensus among them that China could attack or invade Taiwan by 2027, with some officials predicting an invasion as early as 2025. Taiwan lies just 100 miles across the narrow Taiwan Strait from China, and every Taiwanese airbase is within range of the People's Liberation Army rocket forces thousands of ballistic missiles. In the early hours of a potential conflict, China would seek to cripple Taiwan's air force by carrying out large-scale missile barrages to destroy runways and hangars and bury the entrances to tunnels where Taiwan hides its best fighter jets. Taiwan is faced with the challenge of defending itself against a potential attack from China. To prepare for this scenario, Taiwan's best option would be to acquire the F-35B fighter jet, which has the unique ability to take off from short runways and land vertically like a helicopter. This would enable the Taiwanese Air Force to resume sorties quickly from airbases after an attack. Taipei has recognized the strategic advantage of the F-35B and requested that the United States sell them around 100 of these fighter jets back in 2002, with the goal of deterring China. However, the US has repeatedly denied these requests for several reasons, including concerns related to export control and the advanced technology of the F-35, as well as the Autonomic Logistics Information System Alice, and the health and maintenance data system that is present in every plane. Despite these setbacks, Taiwan continues to seek ways to bolster its defense capabilities and ensure its national security. The acquisition of the F-35B fighter jet remains a top priority for Taiwan's Air Force, as it would provide the country with a powerful tool for defense and deterrence.